Okay, here's our wood hidden candy dispenser we're going to build on the CNC router. Candy goes in the jar, pull this out, and the candy slides down. So this is drawing our candy dispenser in Mastercam. First thing I do is I go to machine type, router. We're going to cut this on the techno servo. Then from there I select my properties and set up my stock. Okay, we're going to cut this out of three quarter inch poplar. First thing I'm going to do is create my geometry. I'm going to create that bottom place first as a rectangle. I'm going to go up here. That first block is 4.5 by 4.5. Snap in the first quadrant. Fit screen. And then a green check mark is saying I've done that operation. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do uh, construction lines. So I'm going to create a line from the endpoint, snap here to here, here to here. All that's going to do is give me my center. I'm done those construction lines. I'm going to create an arc from a center point. And okay. how big was that circle? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do an offset. So X form offset and I'm going to offset uh, a half inch and then now that I have that offset I'm going to draw my next block how big was my next block? so I'll create a rectangle I'm going to snap right there this one is 5 by 5 it's drawn and the reason what I'm going to do here is my quarter inch flat end mill is going to cut around the outside here and I could put these a quarter inch apart, uh, but I think it's going to get a cleaner cut if I offset them a half inch. And it, it'll also help me pull up my pieces and fixture them a little better. Okay. Then I'm going to go X form offset. I'll go with a half inch. That'll be saved here, up here. Here I've drawn out my six pieces. This is a hole that the candy drops through. This is my base two side pieces, my slider. To get this hole lined up in the slider, I drew a 3 8 inch diameter hole here, and then I offset that line 3 16 And what I'm going to do here is create a rectangle that's going to be the di dimensions of this. So I'm going to go four and a half, and then the width of this part right here is one in eleven sixteenths, one space eleven sixteenths. Snap it there. Then I'm going to create construction lines. So create lines from endpoint. And this, I think, is going to line everything up. So this hole will line up exactly on here when it's manufactured. I set all my parts up lengthwise this way so I can find the five inch board wide. It's easy to find hardwood that's five inches hard to find you know a 10 inch wide piece of hardwood and then I'll create a circle centered at the center point this diameter is one and a quarter so one space one and a quarter and there it is done with that delete all these excess lines uh, let's zoom in Zoom in. I want to make sure I delete all these excess lines. The lines on top of each other. Let me clear colors here. Make sure I have everything. Gotta make sure I don't have too many stacked lines on each other. Um, otherwise, it would be hard to tool path it. So let me redraw those. Got to make sure I snap on the endpoints, or I won't be able to contour. So there are all my parts. My stock is five inches wide, and then now I'll start tool pathing. 